right, guys. I think we are live here. I'm just going to give it a couple seconds here to buffer everybody. So if you don't hear anything or see anything exciting, don't blame me. Give it a little time to uh, catch up. And then we're going to be doing a live flight demo with the M300 RTK today. You're looking at the um, a screen share, basically a, a mirroring from the smart controller going directly into our live stream. So we'll be good to go here in just a second. You guys can give me a post in the comments here and let me know if you can hear me. I'm playing with uh, playing with some audio here. So just let me know. Give me a thumbs up uh, or a thumbs down or heart me or uh, whatever it might be. Just make sure uh, make sure the audio is good and then we'll get going. Jarrett, thanks for coming by, buddy. Appreciate you. I'm seeing some thumbs up. No comments. Everybody's shy. Awesome. Perfect. I just got a thumbs up here locally, so we're good to go. All right, guys, so we are recording this, so if you guys are watching this later, appreciate you coming by. So today we've got the M300 RTK. We're trying to rush through, uh, and I say rush just so I'm not judged for any poor performance here or anything that I say. We've got some storms rolling in, so we are trying to get our live flight demo in today. I had intended on doing it tomorrow, but, uh, you know, why would we have a beautiful Friday here in Northwest Arkansas, you know? So we've got the M300 RTK. You guys are looking at a live uh, stream here from the smart controller. You're not going to be able to see my beautiful face today. For that, I apologize, or you're welcome, depending on your personal preference and opinion. Um, so we are doing a uh, screen mirror from the smart controller. We're doing HDMI out. So you're going to be seeing exactly what you would see normally when you are flying the M300 RTK yourself. Um, and so basically, we're just going to kind of do a quick, uh, this is not planned or anything. We are out in our parking lot. so. Uh, you know, just let me know. Uh, let me know how it goes. Brad, do you want to go ahead and fire that thing up? So right now the drone's going to be getting connected. Uh, it's powered off currently, so we're going to connect the drone here. The H20T is already installed, ready to go. You'll notice here in just a second after the aircraft does its power up, you're going to see that blue pilot down there in the bottom left. So basically, when that icon goes blue, it senses, hey, there's an aircraft connected tap me and let's go in and uh, actually see the drone. I'm a little bit OCD, so I usually give it uh, 10 or 15 seconds just to get its mind right. It's got a lot of sensors on here, guys. Six direction obstacle avoidance, all that good stuff. So I'm gonna launch into pilot by tapping that blue pilot button in the bottom left. And it's gonna do its boot up process here. One cool thing that you guys that have the existing smart controller, I, I call it the consumer model. I mean, no offense by that, of course. We love our consumer users out there, but. Um, you'll notice the imaging in that background there was a little bit more industrial like you've got the picture of the m300 you've got some firefighters things like that so we've got that going for us so right now you're looking at the splash screen sort of the startup screen of the pilot app you've got your what you were used to seeing there manual flight on the left and then mission flight on the right you're able to start planning some flights if you want to or you can go into manual flight and then on the right hand side of the screen you've got album we don't really care about that but we do care about hms uh, I go over this in a couple other videos. HMS is your health management system. It's essentially a one-stop shop for firmware, uh, whether that's uh, gimbal, propulsion, aircraft, etc. So you can see on here, you've got propulsion, avionics, vision positioning, your RC, your battery, your image transmission, your gimbal one, which in this case, we do have just a single downward gimbal, which is the H20T. It knows its weight, which is pretty sweet. And then we're not in RTK mode, so that's disconnected. On the left-hand side, you've got aircraft. It is showing latest, so we're good to go. We're going to go back out of the UAV HMS, and we're going to do a manual flight. Tap on manual flight. And very, very similar, almost identical, if not identical, situation to what you see with most DJI drones. You have sort of your pre-flight check here. I just do a quick scroll. Main thing you want to look at, too, is your return to home altitude up here at the top. We're at 30 meters, which for our location is almost ideal uh, so you've got your return to home altitude up there flight mode compass imu everything is green in the norm rc battery is at 58 percent just a little piece of advice there that's the internal rc battery so that does not represent your wb37 that you have attached on the back and we are not in discrete mode auxiliary lighting is auto 
you're going to hear noise as a C-130 flies above us. So appreciate you guys tuning in. And gimbal status one is normal. So we're going to bounce out of that. And here we go. So we are in the primary flight display. Right now we are on our uh, Smart Controller Enterprise in the Pilot app. Uh, the Pilot app on here is a little bit different. So you're going to notice a little bit of a different layout. The attitude indicator, we are leaning a little bit. That's totally normal uh, for this particular takeoff point. And we actually have another M300 in front of us. What do you know? We've got a friend. So on your screen on the left-hand side, you've got airspeed, SPD. We are in miles per hour because we're in America and I'm really bad at math. So miles per hour here and then altitude on your right. That is AGL on the, on the right-hand, sort of the bottom right corner down there, that green text, you see VS, that's vertical speed. And then below that you have ASL which is a great feature that we actually have sea level altitude here uh, for sure. So on the left-hand side, sort of that same, same area, just left-hand side, you've got wind speed. So as you see, when we fly, you'll get a live readout of what the estimated wind speed is. And then bottom right, you have your H20T. Bottom left, you have your map. So I always take off with the FPV camera in view because you get a, a little bit of a clearer view of your PFD, that primary flight display. Um, so I've done a systems check here, battery. Uh, batteries are at 99%. These are the new TB60 12 cell batteries. We've got two of them in there. They are fully charged. They were charged this morning by yours truly. And we've got 13 satellites, which I expect to go up uh, here in just a second once we get up in the air. So I'm gonna go ahead and arm the motors. Same, uh, same fashion here, down and in. Our motors are armed. You see them spinning in the FPV camera there, which is top mounted. It's a little bit higher, which is why you're able to see those props. And we are going to go ahead and take off. I apologize if the background noise is intense. I will fix that here in just a second. And just like that, we're off and running. Every time I do a takeoff like this, whether I've been out all day flying or not, I just do a quick systems check of the RC. I make sure left is left. Then I make sure right is right. What do you know? It is. And then on the right-hand stick, I check my yaw and my pitch. And everything's good to go there. So you'll see on the right-hand side, we're approximately 46.3 feet above ground level. That is above your takeoff point. And then obviously our sea level altitude has changed as well. Let me give you guys a more interesting view here. This is uh, here at our UBT headquarters in Fayetteville. Like I said, there is some weather moving in. So uh, if you see raindrops, we're going to be testing that IP rating today. Although uh, it is unintentional. So there you have it. So now we are up at about 75. We're going to go up to about 75 feet. We did literally have a C-130 fly above us a second ago. So I'm going to go ahead and turn our beacons on. We're in Class E airspace here, by the way. So uh, no concerns there with airspace. I'm just checking the live feed here to make sure everybody's doing well. We will answer your guys' uh, questions here ASAP. We're uh, just trying to do a VO and a, and a flight here. So pardon us for not answering you immediately. We will do so. So we're gonna flip down on the bottom right hand side, you've got your primary gimbal. In this case, we are in single gimbal mode. So all we have is the H20T. I'm gonna tap that once. And now our H20T is our primary view. You'll see you still kind of have that PFD. So you've got a sort of a minimized version of that PFD, that primary flight display. Speed on the left, to the left of that little radar, and then uh, altitude above ground level, above your takeoff point on the right hand side of that. And then below that is your vertical speed and your ASL, just like you had before. And then it's hard to see. Let me move this a little bit. So we're at contrasting. You can see our wind speed. The winds are moving just a little bit today. But uh, hey, that's what we're here for. We test these guys so you don't have to. All right. Now we're going to pan up and just pick a more interesting subject here. And I'll go over some camera functions. Let's actually do, let's say we're going to look at uh, this intersection over here to the southwest. All right, so on the H20T, it is a hybrid sensor. So you have a uh, RGB camera, which is a zoom optic, and you have an RGB camera, which is a wide optic. That wide camera is gonna be a dedicated view of your entire scene. It is very wide. That's the camera we're looking at right now. You can see a very good portion of our scene here. Super wide. It's, if you don't know this area, you're seeing a pretty good portion of the, uh, of the area here. And then we're gonna flip over to the zoom camera. Now, one cool thing is while you're on your wide camera, you can set that zoom level so that whenever you flip over to that zoom, you are where you wanna be. So if we wanna zoom in, for example, let's say we're gonna be conducting an inspection right here on this pole. 
So I've got that pull in view. It's in my crosshairs, if you will. Everybody relax. This is not an armed drone. Everything's okay. The crosshairs are just there to guide you. And I want a shot. I'm going to line up this shot. So I'm in my wide camera, but I can tap on the plus sign on the right hand side of the screen and I can increase that zoom. Now you notice the camera didn't move because we're in the wide camera, that wide lens of the H20T. But I am actually zooming the zoom lens, the zoom portion of that camera. So that when I tap zoom, which you'll see on the right hand, or I'm sorry, you'll see on the left hand side, dummy, left hand side of the screen, you have IR and zoom. We're going to do IR later. So I'm going to tap on zoom. Now you'll notice I'm going from the wide camera to the zoom camera, and it was already preset to 20x. So essentially I was saying, hey, I'm looking at the wide camera. I want to see my whole scene, maybe to line up my shot better, maybe to make sure there were no obstructions, whatever it might be. But I was able to line up that shot at 20x. So when I tap zoom, I'm already in there. And I lined that up pretty decent. I'll just pat myself on the back for that. And you can use your gimbal wheels at the top, which I'm doing right now. Left wheel on the top does tilt. So I'm just tilting down, tilting up. And the wheel on the right does pan. Now, if I wanted to go back to wide and see what that wide shot looks like, you just tap wide on the left side and you're back to your wide shot. Notice there's no change to the zoom level, the picture, uh, the focal point of the picture doesn't change or anything like that, but you're now back at your wide shot. And we can go back to zoom. And then from zoom, you can on the right, oh, I'm sorry, on the right hand side of the screen, yes, you can do minus sign and back out 10x. Go back into 20x. Now remember, this is a 23x optical zoom camera. So you're at 23 times. So we can go a little bit beyond that by dragging, dragging that slider. I just saw a blip in my screen. So I'm gonna make sure that our live feed is still good here, guys, one second. I do literally have this video transmitter zip tied. Oh, yep, looks like we just lost the live feed. All right, one second, guys. Hold on one sec. All right, well, hopefully you guys can still hear me. Our uh, camera link, the wireless camera link on our smart controller just died. I swear the aircraft is still in the air. You're going to hear it. Uh, right now. So um, I'm going to bring it back in and uh, we will probably attempt to pick this right back up. So if you guys want to give us maybe 10, 15 minutes, we'll get another uh, camera link set up and we will uh, we'll launch again. Appreciate you guys coming by. Sorry for the technical difficulties and catching